This microwave's dead and my wife wants it fixed. So I figured I'd film it and see what happens. When you plug it in, all the lights come on and it looks like it's gonna work, but when you press start, you know, nothing happens, no fans, no heat, nothing. So let's open it up, fix it. Okay guys, little disclaimer. This microwave is very dangerous and if you're not careful and you're putting your hands in the wrong spot, it can hurt you. If you're shaky about the whole thing, it's better just to stay out of here. Now this video is mainly for people that are confident. I know there's a lot of you that watch this channel that are. And this video is for you and it's just a primer to give you an idea of where to look in the microwave for trouble. Anyway, now that I've scared the living daylights out of you, again, stay out of here if you're not comfortable. It's just not a good idea. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, as soon as you get the cover off, you should come over here and discharge this capacitor. This big capacitor right here, mine holds 2100 AC volts. Anyway, get a screwdriver with a good insulated handle and short these two terminals out. And I sit there like that just to be sure. Anyway, there should be a bleed capacitor on here, but not always. And even if there was, I would still do this. This is just smart. That way you won't get hurt. And of course, have the damn thing unplugged. That's always helpful. All right, on to the next. Okay, so now that you've opened your microwave and discharged your capacitor, what I like to do is just get myself familiar with what I'm looking at. Start with the end with the plug on it and then just follow the circuit through to the control panel. Obviously, look for any burnt wires or signs of charring, any weird smells, any wires that might have fallen off or just obvious signs. Also, note how many fuses there are. There'll be one here at the plug end where the AC mains comes in, but there may be more down here. And I did a video on changing a simple fuse and I'll link it in up here and you can click on that if you wanna see how to just do a simple fuse test. But anyway, after the obvious, you do wanna start with the plug end and work your way backwards. Let's go ahead and pull this fuse out and check it first with our multimeter. I'll show you how to do that. Put your screwdriver underneath and gently twist. This is a glass fuse and they also come in ceramic. Let's take a look at this on the multimeter and test if it's good or not. We want to test this fuse, so I'm going to show you two different ways on an analog multimeter and a digital one. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to the seller on Amazon that sent me this. This is Legend Supply Company, LLC, and they sent this to me as a gift to try. I've done business with them in the past and they're a very fair seller, so check them out. I'll put the link above. Anyway, let's get testing this fuse. You want to set your meter to the speaker setting. It's continuity. It has a little speaker. And so does this one. So that's continuity. We want to take our leads and touch the fuse. That's coming from this meter. And try it on the digital one as well. Same thing. You can see the meter going to zero. All right, this fuse is good. If it hadn't have been, look on the side with the magnifying glass, replace it with the same kind and tight, put it back in. Ours is good, let's put this back in and continue with our testing. Okay, so we checked the fuse and that seemed okay, so on to the next. The next thing I like to check is the micro switches and the door. I'm gonna point to the micro switches. There's one down here. There's another one right there. And there's one more right there. You can see that gray thing. 
that's what they look like. We'll go in for a tighter look in just a minute. But there's at least three on a microwave door and you want to make sure that those are all okay. And what I like to do is open the door and make sure that this mechanism is working properly and it's pushing, you know, all the micro switches in. Just keep opening the door and observe what happens. Now, if you have a problem with your door and you're noticing worn plastic parts and you have a cheaper microwave, I would just get a new microwave at that point. But uh, our door latch seems good on this one, so we're going to go ahead and start testing these micro switches. Let's go in for a tighter look and we'll, I'll show you how to test those. It's time to test the micro switches on the door. And to do that, you want to take off one side of the connection. I'm just going to get my pliers here and pull one side off. This will give you an accurate reading, whereas if you leave the wire on, it won't. We're going to take our multimeter with our probes and we're going to test this switch just like we did with our fuse. We're going to put one of our probes on one side of the switch and the other probe on the other side of the switch just like this. And just as we did with our fuse, we're going to observe the meter and we're going to open the door and close it and see what happens. Let's do that now. Okay, we've got our meter hooked up to our micro switch just like I showed you. And we've got our meter set on continuity test just like we did with the fuse. It has that little speaker symbol so it makes a tone when the connection is connected. Let's go ahead and open our door to our microwave. You can hear that a connection is made as soon as I open the door and that's what we want. This micro switch checks out good. We'll go ahead and put the wire back on this and test the rest of them in the same manner. I checked the bottom one and it's fine and you see me do the middle one. Now I've got it set on the top one I open the door. Nothing. I've got my wires off and I'm set on continuity so this switch may be bad. Let's go ahead and take it out and take a look at it. This is the micro switch that I just took out of the microwave and look this switch is supposed to be up. Let me show you a good one. See? I have a little story about getting this. I went out to get it after realizing this one was bad and I stopped into a place that sells parts to like dealers and installers you know they have an open door policy but basically it's just for repair tax and you have to have a license to buy furnaces and stuff like that but they'll sell you belts and small stuff anyway I went there and um, he's like cash only this was five bucks and of course I didn't have any cash on me so I had to go to a Mac machine and on my way to the Mac machine, I stopped at a Maytag dealer because I thought, hey, they might have it. It was a uh, Maytag reseller, and they also had like a service department, again, with parts. And they also do repair. Anyway, I went in there, and they said, the first thing the guy said to me was, what is it? Because I handed him, you know, this. And I thought to myself, this isn't good. This guy is a parts man. He should be knowledgeable in this stuff, and he doesn't even know what a simple micro switch is. Anyway, I said it was a micro switch out of a microwave, and would they have any in the back? I could buy off them. And um, he's, he asked me for the, the model of the machine, and I said, it's just a generic switch and he he laughed and he goes oh no uh, those aren't generic and so I took the switch back and just left you know um, it's funny though the guy looks seasoned like he should know what he's talking about in his 50s or so and he's working behind the counter of a repair shop and he's never seen a micro switch 
Well, anyway, I found a Mac machine. I went back to the first guy and they had it. And this is the one that I ended up getting. Let's take it out of this bag and I'll show you what it's all about. So I just wanted to show you real quick um, the difference. This new one versus the old one. You can see that the old one is, has two connectors. And when you buy these, you just want to make sure that the amps and the volts is at least or greater than the one that you're replacing. It's that simple. And the other thing that you want to make sure is if it's normally open or normally closed. And this one is set up for normally open, and it says it here on the side. Now this one has three prongs on it, and I put my clips on here to show you something, but uh, you can see there's this bottom one. And then there's two on the side rather than one. And that's so that this one can be used either way, normally open or normally closed. And if you look at my meter here, and when I, when I push the button, the meter activates, which means the circuit is closed. You know, it's allowing electricity to flow through. And then when it's released, it stops the energy. But if you switch this terminal here, it's the opposite. When it's not pressed, it's allowing energy to go through it. And then when I press it, it you know, turns off the energy. So this one can be used either way. And I'll use it in the first configuration like this when I put it back in the microwave. But uh, there's the difference between micro switches. Like I said, these are very standard, very generic. Shame on the Maytag man. He's spending too much time sleeping. Anyway, let's get this installed. Or no, this one. We don't want, we don't want that one. I put my new micro switch in, and I put it in just the same way it come off. And I hooked my two terminals up. You can see this one that I'm not using at the top. I've got a piece of heat shrink tube I'm just going to put over the top of it. I just decided to use this heat tip on this torch and i got to tell you I'm not impressed. It's almost easier just to put an open flame to it. Anyway, that'll work. Good enough. We're going to test it now. I'm going to put the cover back on. It's just safer that way to test it with the cover, especially on a microwave oven. This is probably the most dangerous thing in your appliance kitchen. It's certainly more dangerous than a blender. And I'd rather take the time, put the cover on and test it. And, you know, if it doesn't work, I can take the cover back off, but at least I won't be dead. So anyway, let me do that. plugged it in so far so good but it did that before so I don't have the glass turntable in there but I'm just going to put some water in here here we go looks good sounds quiet I don't know if it's heating but uh, it certainly looks like it is Yep, we're all good. It's warm. Well, success with the microwave. It was just a simple micro switch. In fact, I was reading in 75 to 80% of microwave problems are the micro uh, switches or the fuses. And really, it's a good idea to check all of them, all the micro switches and the fuses as well, because a lot of times they'll blow in combination. I want to give you a link to a guide about fixing microwaves. It's really good. Samuel Goldwasser wrote this, and uh, it's a very complete guide. I'll put a link in the description. All the credit goes to him. He, he wrote a really good guide about everything that you'd want to know about fixing microwave ovens. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got some use out of it. Please leave us a comment down below and thumbs up. 
you guys are thumbs up and, and that's great. That helps us a lot. But also, my channel is lacking a little bit in comments. And I would appreciate it if you just say hi or enjoyed the video or anything because those also go towards my rank on Google. So I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.